Hello friends, this is Nitesh, founder of Stockmark. Today in this video, we are going to talk about a new feature, which is re-entry. But before explaining that feature to you guys, I'd like to ask you a question. Like, has it ever happened with you that you have taken a straddle with any leg and your call is still gets triggered, market has taken a reverse direction, a V shape or M shape, whatever, and your put SL also gets triggered and you have a double SL days. Has it ever happened with you? Don't lie. I know it has happened with everyone. Okay. Now such days has happened a lot in October and September, wherein people were shaky about their strategies because if a market takes a reverse direction after taking your SL, your other S leg is also in danger. Okay. Now this happens in V shape market, M shape market, W shape market. And what is the way to actually capture such days so that our strategy remains in the market somehow. And there comes the solution as a re-entry. Now re-entry has, can have many variants. We re-enter in such ways, we re-enter in other ways. Many people have different approaches to it. The approach that we have taken is simply this. Let's say your any leg call leg is traded at 100 rupees and its stop loss is at 125 rupees. Now, when this call leg stop loss gets triggered, if the market is in uptrend, okay, your call is a leg got triggered and market has taken a reverse direction. Then obviously your price of call would definitely cross this 100 rupees again. It means what we have thought that if your call or any leg SL gets triggered, but after triggering your stop loss, it has again crossed your traded price, which was hundred rupees. Then it's an opportunity for you to re-enter into that leg and want, and it's kind of an opportunity for you to participate again in the market with the same leg, with the same price. So that was the idea behind working on this feature called re-entry. Now what theoretically can happen is this. Let's say it's a perfect V shape market went uptrend. Your call is still got triggered. It reversed and you got the price again. You enter into the call leg again. It went back. It has taken your put SL, but this time your call was intact. And that's why probably you might have not lost much or a little lesser or you might also be in profit. Now you must be thinking is re-entry the perfect solution to make money all the days? Definitely not. Because if it's WWW kind of a shape where you re-enter and your stop loss gets triggered again and again, you will obviously make some losses, but rather than talking theoretically, let's move and check the back test results of it and practically see what's going on. Okay. So just bear with me. Let me share my screen with you. Uh, 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 uh. Screen is shared. I think so. Yeah. So uh, let me just rephrase again. Okay. What is re-entry? Re-entry is an opportunity to enter again into the leg whose stop loss has been triggered. And then that leg price crosses your entry price. It means market has taken a reverse direction and uh, the same leg entry price has been crossed again. Okay. It helps us keep battling the market in V shape, M shape, W shape, and generally avoid double SLDs. I told you it's not a permanent solution to your every problem, but I'll show you how it can save the bad months and how it can cater to V shape and M shape market. Okay. So do watch the video fully. And now let's take an example. Example is say you sold the call at hundred rupees market was up trending. Your stop loss is 25%, which is 125 rupees. And when your 125 SL is triggered, then you will re-enter that leg, the call leg. If the price reaches hundred rupees or lesser, it means market was has taken a reverse direction 
and if it crosses your 100 rupees because you have sold it if it crosses your 100 rupees if it's less than equal to 100 rupees at any one minute candle open now i'll explain this thing then you will re enter that leg now why have we chosen one minute candle open what is the idea behind it i'll show you with example okay but before that let me explain it so the idea was there are two choices for us with us one was as soon as the market has taken the reverse trend and your 100 rupees which was 125 stop loss got triggered and after 100 rupees was also breached you enter at 100 rupees directly at any point in time but it can happen that it is just touched 100 rupees and went back so what we thought is rather than checking at any one minute candle in between we will just check one minute candle open price not in between if that one minute candle open price has crossed 100 rupees or less than that then we will assume that we can re-enter into that leg right away even if we don't get the price of 100 rupees or we get 99 rupees 98 rupees we are still okay with it i'll just give you example right away assume you want to enter at 9 30 the price is 100 rupees okay the call price whatever it is okay and you say at 10 30 somehow your stop loss gets triggered at 125 because 25 percent is was your stop loss now from if you want to re-enter from 10 31 candle you will start <coughs> you will start observing the price so at 10 31 exactly opening price you will see what was the price let's say the price is 120 obviously you will not re-enter because this price is not less than equal to 100 is like your what was your price 100 entry price was 100 so you are just waiting he when it will cross 100 rupees so at 1031 it was 120 you will not enter let's say at 1032 it was one 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 five you will still not enter at 1033 it is one zero five okay now assume that in between 1032 and 1033 it has crossed 100 rupees and come back but we don't care we are just seeing exactly opening price of that at 1033 exact price if it is 105 will not enter let's say at 1034 somehow i got the price is 98 rupees so what i'll see yes it has crossed 100 rupees it means i'm assuming that market has taken a reverse direction i'll enter into that trade at 98 rupees immediately so at 1034 I'll re-enter into that leg with 25% SL because that was my original SL. So what was the original SL? 25% of 98, what it becomes? 98 into 1.25, which is 122.5. It's as simple as that. It's very simple. Like we are just taking the opening price after the SL gets triggered and we are seeing if we are getting our desired price premium or not. As soon as we see that we enter into the market. Okay, so this is like first re-entry. What if we want to enter two times? We want to enter three times. Anything can happen. Let's take an example. So the earlier example is we entered at 930 with 100 rupees. At 1030, our stop loss got triggered at 125. Next time I got an opportunity at 1034 with 98 rupees. Okay, let's say at 11 o'clock my 122.5 SL got triggered. But you say no, check again. I want to re-enter two times. Then after 11 o'clock, we'll keep on checking it. Let's say at 11.30. Now the point to note here is that last, our first entry price was 100 rupees. So what we were checking is if the price has crossed 100 rupees or not. And then we re-entered at 10.34. Now our entry price was 98 rupees. Now we will observe this price 98. So we will, after 11 o'clock, we will check if the price has crossed 98 or not. If it has crossed 98, only then we will enter. Now we will not observe 100 rupees price. We will observe the last traded price. Okay. So let's say at 11.30, I got an opportunity to enter at 94 rupees, 95 rupees say. So my SL now will be 95 
into 1.25. Simple. 118.75. I immediately enter at 1130. So I hope this thing is very clear. This thing is simple to understand. I think so. Beta users obviously said the same thing. Uh, by the way, we've not prepared the video for them. I just explained it. And uh, so this thing, this thing as a theory, I believe is very clear. So let's move to a practical aspect. Let's see the back. Let's see it in action directly. And uh, I'll take a very simple example of short straddle. Okay. So shorting a straddle, we can click on the short straddle on the left side. It's ATM call sell, add the money call sell and at the money put sell. I'll enter at 9.57, okay? And I'll exit at three o'clock. It's a very simple one, okay? With 30% SL. Uh, whatever strategy I show is just for demonstration. Don't take it on its face value. On stock mark, you can generally test various varieties. Okay, there is so many things lying out there. Just don't go whatever I demonstrate here. It's just for the explanation purpose, how we can improve our strategies. Better take it for educational. Okay. <clears throat> so let's say it's a very simple thing. 9.57 entry, three o'clock exit, 30% SL. Let's test this thing for Nifty. Okay. So if I test it for Nifty and let's wait for the results and 9.57 to three o'clock. So my result, and this is without re-entry by the way, and this is the vanilla strategy. It's very simple, no complications involved. I see some results in here, okay? Now I have one more tab open here. I'll create the similar strategy, which is like 30% SL on both the things, which is like 10, 9.57, three o'clock. Okay, but here I'll add a re-entry feature just to show you how it can actually improve the results. Now you will see this new button re-entry, click on it. This will activate the re-entry option in here. Okay, if you click on it, it will ask you how many times you wish to re-enter if given an opportunity. So from one to five, it means you want to re-enter only one time. I will test it with two times re-entry. Obviously our beta users have tested it with many big numbers. So let's test it here. Okay. So let's allow it to run. Oh, I tested it for bank nifty by chance. Let me test it for nifty, but let's see the result until the results come. Let's see what's the result for nifty here. It's 486 rupees, 17,000 drawdown and 0.29 expectancy. We have three losing months and not that great thing. So I'll test it for nifty. I'll change it. So what my intention with re-entry is not to increase my profit a lot, but what I'm expecting is the drawdown and reward to risk ratio becomes better. If those things become better and if my losing months get into control, then I am happy with my strategy on the days where it's V shape and M shape and W shape. Okay. Let's see the results. Mm -hmm. Okay. So here are the results with re-entry. Okay. And here are the results without re-entry. Let's check it one by one. MDD is 17,000 here. MDD is 12,000 here. Big difference. MDD was expectancy 0.29. Here it is 0.48. Wow. Win percent remains the same. Average day profit is 486. It jumped above 600 rupees. I'm saying it's decent. Okay. I'm generally more happy if the MDD gets controlled, expectancy gets controlled and the losing months gets controlled. Have you observed the losing months yet? If not, see it. So it is like, fortunately or not, I'm not considering slippage here. I'm not considered here as well. It's just a random example to show you that just by re-entering a simple thing two times, my losing months are now under control. I think that's quite good. And this is not even the decent strategy with all the good strategies out there in stock market, the results will improve drastically well. So all the best to you for trying it. Let's see the results. How do the, how do we see the results in action in it? So you will see 
by the way if i go to the results i see that nifty one lot atm put what do we mean by one here one means the first leg okay so you will see your first leg was atm put the second leg was atm call so here we say one means your first leg first leg atm put what do we mean by this one re one it means your first leg got first leg first re entry first leg second re entry second leg second leg first re entry and second leg second re entry it's very simple it's quite intuitive as well okay so let's understand this thing so it says atm put got exited at 1103 and it got the chance to enter again at 2 o'clock and it never got exited so your second leg your second re entry never got the chance to re enter that's why it is showing at 0 0 so this particular leg put got the chance to re enter only once and you can see the price was 78.95 so we were waiting if the price moves from or below on or below 78.95 so i got the chance at 74.75 exactly at 203 open candle one minute candle okay so you will observe at 140300 second okay the price was this i got the chance to enter i entered okay let's see with call so call stop loss never got triggered so your re entry two times never happened so it's 00 so let's see an example where we got a entry two times somehow if we have this example i don't know yeah here it is okay where multiple sl got triggered okay so uh, wow this is a beautiful example where you will see we re enter two times and still end of the day we were in profit so this call sl got triggered at 1017 at 1104 we got the chance to enter again okay at 1411 211 it got exited and at 251 we again got the chance to re enter and 255 we exited put stop loss never got triggered therefore there is no scope of re entry okay because re entry only happens after the stop loss gets triggered and therefore your entire day was in profit okay obviously you can get into losses as well but this is just to tell you this thing so in the results you will see re1 it means re entry the first time re entry the second time okay 00 means you this didn't get the chance to re enter the second time very simple Okay, so let's see. Let's casually check this in for Bank Nifty as well. Okay, so without re-entry, I'll check it, and uh, with re-entry also, let's check it for Bank Nifty. I don't know the results honestly. So for Bank Nifty, it's showing for the last two and a half three years back testing. It's eight hundred fourteen rupees. Uh, it has two losing months. but i'm majorly concerned with drawdown it's 20000 drawdown expectancy is 0.38 let's see here so uh, obviously day profit got improved mdd got much controlled 14000 rupees okay for people who don't know it's like close to 7.5% okay and expectancy is 0.7 that's amazing for me it's amazing at least okay losing months under control as i told you okay this is not bad this is not bad at all for me like and for my beta users friends it's working great try it out yourself i'm again telling you i've just shown you the vanilla strategy what is vanilla vanilla strategy means i've not used any complicated thing i've not used move sl because i've not used wait and trade i've not used range breakout i've not done like multiple legs four leg things it's very simple thing and still it's showing good results can you find anything that's very very uh, it's the results are good to you only trade that okay uh some disclaimers trailing stop loss and re entry do not work together okay obviously for logical reasons so if you click on re entry this trailing sl will be changed to re entry okay so if you want to use trailing sl re entry is not for you trailing entry and re entry will not work together similarly same logic with move sl to cost so if move sl to cost is there re entry will not work because if one leg sl gets triggered you want others to be exited at the same price other than that if you can use this with wait and trade range breakout positional strategy next day this next day thing wherever you want to use it okay that's the disclaimer that's it nothing more than that and since we are talking uh, one of my very good friends said that okay and i still believe it in and i 
said this multiple times in many of my interviews with Vivek Bajaj as well, that I am a core believer that team of strategies always work best. So this is the demonstration of only a single strategy, but people listening to me, I'll tell you always do multiple strategies, deploy your capital to multiple strategies. It's like hedging and it's like diversification of your capital, because if one strategy fails someday, other will make up for it. So equity curve generally gets smoothened. That's why I wanted to show you a simple example. I'll go to the basket tab. I have created a simple strategy, simple one. Like it's, it was a random thing. Okay. Just for the demonstration that this 957 was the one which I gave you a demonstration right now. Okay. What I did is I re-entered the same strategy at 1057 and 1157. Okay. If you want to see it, I'll open it. This re-entry two times 957 for nifty. I'll run it all. Okay. So my idea here is I'll not just enter at 957. I'll try it at 1057 and 1157. You may try it at any other time you wish to. And I want to see when I'm running team of strategies, multiple times, diversification is going on. Are my results getting improved or not? Let's see that in action. So here we are running three lots, one 957, 1057, three, uh, 1157. My MDD is 21,000, 22,000 divided by three, 7,000 something. Okay. 7,000 something with two lakhs of capital you are selling. 7,000 means three and a half percent. It means even if in future you get double or triple the stop loss, triple this MDD, then it's going to be under 10%. I'm assuming. Okay. MDD is brilliant. Expectancy is obviously brilliant. Win percent is above 71%. And this was just a random thing. I tried out 1057 with vanilla strategies, nothing wait and trade, nothing, no fancy things in here right now. See the graph of this. It's all good. Okay. Monthly strategies are also good. Re-entry is something I'm very confident about. This thing can work really good in your V-shaped markets, M-shaped markets and can help save your losses or minimize your losses a little bit. Okay. Uh, so do try this feature out. Don't take my strategy, which I've demonstrated. It's not, you will find enormously good strategies. So try something that is very comfortable to you and do share your feedback with me. Did you like this feature or not? Just like our beta users did. And what are the things you want us to improve on this aspect? Okay. Thank you so much. All the best. Happy back testing.